Oh, that's right. Uh, I was supposed to record this uh, birthday Q&A today. Ugh. Oh, time for me to start answering some questions then. When is Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom coming out? Eh, spring 2020. Pretty sure I uh, answered this two weeks ago on my ATC livestream pod. That everyone watched. And I don't know if they actually saw the first 30 seconds of the video. And what's my favorite DVD killer? Yes! Finally! Someone asking a good question. I'd say the spirit, for sure. Because her appearance and power and overall creep factor is probably like one of my favorite killers of all time. When and how did I run into Padre and what is my favorite game that I've made and released? I'm pretty sure I just ran into him like on Twitter randomly. Because I think he wanted a voice act for Strange Terror from the Deep. Like, um, he voiced like Gargantuan Shrimp at the time, and now he also voices Barney Barnacle in one of the later updates. As for the bonus question, I'd say my favorite game I released was Strange Terror from Beyond the Stars. Without a doubt, that was my favorite game. Am I planning to make another Strange Terror game? If yes, what would be the location of the game? Uh, we actually have the sequel's concept all written and planned in a document, actually. We will definitely work on it someday, but I can't spoil the location or much about it just yet. I'm not really sure if I'll have the time to actually make it, like at least this year or next year anyway, because I have a lot of plans for a lot of shit. What is my favorite game, Dead by Daylight? Will it add John Madden mode to Wales for Freedom one day? Probably not, nah. Where's the Scooby Horror Remaster update? Fuck! I really want to continue working on that update, but I have a lot going on, like the Dave and Jay bundle, you know, the cockeye game and all that shit, around the clock, etc. A lot of stuff I'm currently working on. Who is my favorite YouTuber? That, my friend, is a very debatable question. However, I can list some of my favorite YouTubers, like Legal Eagle, The Game Salmon, Next Genius, Nathan Blake Games, Monto, Noob3, Cinemasker, Farmer John, Jonah Chrome, Uncle Al. So many others. What project am I going to do? Uh, I'm working on Around the Clock. There's that. <laughs> and as you saw a week ago, I announced Kakai, one of the games in the Dave and Jay bundle we plan on releasing sometime soon. Maybe in January if done quick enough. I don't really know. When am I going to make Sunky? Probably never. What do you think is the worst and best game I've made? The worst would definitely be Wills for Freedom. That game's a fucking buggy mess. And... The best one I've made, Beyond the Stars or From the Deep, because those games are indeed my favorite. What or who inspired me to start making games? Um, I wouldn't say anyone really inspired me. I've actually always wanted to make games since I was a wee lad, like four years old. I remember playing a lot of like PS1 and PS2 back in the day, and those games really inspired me for some reason. Like 40 Winks. That game is the sole reason why my games are what they are today because I really loved the atmosphere and how it had like a spooky theme to it. But it wasn't really meant to be scary, you know, just... I pretty much amplified that to make my game scary, but had that spooky, cartoony, goofy comedy vibe to it, I guess you could say. And how am I so good at Blender? I am not. <laughs> at least, I don't think I am. I've been improving a lot, that's for sure. But my low-poly models could honestly be better. Like, I'm hoping to invest more time into learning and hopefully start making some really good looking stuff soon. Will my games take months instead of one month? Yeah. From now on, most probably my games will be taking longer than a month. Because I want more replay value, better quality, I definitely won't be making another game like around the clock though. Because that project was killing me. Like, the amount of time I've been investing that is crazy. I mean, I do plan on making medium scale games in the future. That would probably only take like three to six months to make instead of a whole fucking year like around the clock. But when I do make the Strange Terror game, you know, the third one, that most probably is going to end up being really, really long to make. How long have I been making games? Since 2014, I believe. Will I finish the little car that should have but didn't? Most probably I won't be finishing that game. It's abandoned. How many levels are left to complete in Around the Clock? Like two regular levels, one of which is like 75% done, the final level, the tutorial stage right before Glove World, and then I gotta do like a lot of miscellaneous stuff, polish, major testing before I consider 100% done. I just really want this game's launch to be like perfect. I do not want to screw this up. 
Why do I swear so much? This channel is for mature audiences, and if it wasn't for Kappa, I'd probably be- I'd, I'd just be screwed. Like, honestly. Like, I, I can't have a kid channel, I have to, like, stick to mature audiences because... Kappa's a thing, and they will freaking wipe out any channel in existence if they deem it, like, kid-friendly, or they will just completely butcher my channel. What things have I cooked in my microwave head? Shoes. Is it gonna be boss fights and around the clock? Yes. How much of a success do I think the game will be? I don't know. Hopefully, it'll do good. Where did I get my name from? Uh, someone I think called me Dave Microwave one time just randomly and it's kind of stuck with me, so... I made it my profile name instead of whatever the name was before, like Dave Davy Games or some shit. Is Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy gonna be an enemy in Around the Clock? Yes. When will I optimize Strange Hair from the Deep? When the new update is done. What game is coming out after Cockeye, and do I like the Scott Pilgrim book series? Most probably I'll be continuing developing and finishing Shopping Nightmare 2 after Around the Clock and Cockeye are done. And, you know, Cockeye is part of that whole bundle of games that I'm working on. As for the Scott Pilgrim book series, I've actually never read it, however the movie and the game were great. What's a game I really like that barely anyone else has, I've talked to or likes has heard of? Uh, 40 Winks and Hurdy Gurdy, I think, because those two games, I feel like I barely hear anyone talk about them. But they're fantastic. Look them up. 40 Winks is on Steam, actually. It was a PS1 game. But the Steam version kind of, uh, that suffers from some lag issues. And Hurdy Gurdy, that's a PS2 game that unfortunately you can't get anywhere else other than the PlayStation 2. What kind of music do I like best? Any favorite albums or OSTs in particular? I love synthwave, lo-fi hip-hop, and generally just any chill music, it's like my favorite. <laughs> I don't think I have any favorite albums in particular, however I do love listening to the Silent Hill tracks, like any day. It's kind of funny how I list, you know, those kinds of genres, like chill wave and stuff. Because most people I meet usually just tell me I'm a pretty timid person, so that type of music isn't very surprising. Would, would I get a regular head surgically replaced over my microwave one to fit in with society? It, yeah. Face reveal when? Never. <laughs> Probably someday, we'll see. Favorite childhood children show? Um, probably Blue's Clues. I loved that show as a kid, but I barely remember anything about it right now. Can Barry change his size from normal to small? Uh, he could pretty much do anything. <laughs> Even traveling to different dimensions and timelines. Like any game you see Barry in, it's almost canon. Because <laughs> he can just... He can hop into like games like Boofy's Bunker, Around the Clock, Strange Terror from the Deep, all these random games. He can just hop in any one he wants, just cause he can. Why is my avatar a microwave when you can have a fridge or a pan? But a fridge and pan don't rhyme with Dave. Who's my favorite indie game dev? Hmm. It's a tough one actually. But some devs that come to my mind are like Puppet Combo, Incendium, and Behavior. Have I ever considered doing an Ed and Eddie horror game? I have. I actually have. And it was actually going to come out after or before Courage's Curse. I don't remember when. But I kind of got like bored of the idea and then it never happened. And just generally parody games, I'm just getting tired of them. You know? Around the Clock is like going to be the last one I make. Maybe Scooby Horror Okay, That one's still in the up in the air because I have a soft spot for Scooby-Doo. Favorite TV show? Stranger Things, that's for damn sure. And that'll probably change soon enough, because my opinion on my favorite show can shift at any point in time. Will I start releasing games on Steam? I really hope so. I'd be down to release the third Strange Terror game onto there, actually, or maybe some other game that comes before that, because Strange Terror, the third game, is not coming out till maybe a few years from now. So maybe like Shopping Nightmare 2 if I felt like it was worthy of a Steam release or something after that that maybe is long and replayable, maybe worth, you know? Do I have any concepts for games that just didn't make it past modeling? The Blue's Clues horror game, that one already immediately comes to mind. Sunky and that Rick and Morty horror game I announced way back on Twitter. Um, the reason why the Blue's Clues game didn't make it was just because the idea kind of got bleh to me. It was gonna be like some sort of like Saw game, I don't remember what the deal was. The Rick and Morty game, because I was worried about it being too new of a show and might risk copyright shenanigans and all that. And Sunky, I guess because I'm not really in the mood to make that, I'll most probably save the third Unky game to be like this massive Unky game that involves all the characters from the family. 
Is Strange Terror Ultimate Edition uh, still one of my plans and how many monsters will it have? Ultimate Edition pretty much evolved into the third game that we've already written the whole concept about. It's going to be pretty massive. Probably not going to come out a few years later from now, like I said. Because Around the Clock has seriously drained me out. That game is massive and I don't feel like doing that shit again. I really fucking don't. What was my first OC? Uh, this guy. Is Barry from another planet or dimension? He isn't. He's just a complicated bear plush whose origins are unknown. Did he come from a factory or someone else? Or somewhere else? We'll probably never know. And that about wraps up this q and I hope you enjoyed watching. Or listening, rather. I don't think I've explained anywhere else in the video, but today is indeed my birthday, and I have turned 19. I really must thank all of you though for sticking with me for this long and I'm glad to see some of y'all are pretty patient about around the clock's release and the delays and everything. Such a big game man, it's draining me out but I'm really happy to be developing it. Also I, I gotta thank all the people I've met last year and all the folks I've friended and such. Cause y'all are some of the nicest folk I've met, helped me stay motivated and really helped me get out of my shell more. So thanks. <laughs>